Hello guys, welcome back. This is me, Anil Polsani. I am your mainframe trainer. So we are trying to check more about the chat GPT on our mainframe point of view. So like you have seen uh, my other video guys, I have shown you how uh, the AI system is working in the COBOL coding part. And today I'm going to show you another point that you can use it for your betterment of option as of today. Okay. So what I want to try here is I want to see if I can prepare a mainframe resume. Before we start the video, I would really request you to please subscribe and like my channel videos and please share it. You as and when you like my video guys, YouTube knows that our videos are little bit genuine and the videos are little bit recommended. So please, it will not take much time. Just like the video, put a comment if you want more details. Keep a comment whichever you want me to check in the Jack CBT related to our mainframe. Right. So I really thank you for your subscriptions and thank you for watching the video. Let's get into the video now. Okay. I want to prepare the mainframe resume. Okay, using chat GPT with a kind of uh, fresher as a fresher as an experience and I'll see if uh, some of the points we can use it in our resume or we can modify our resume in a better way. So let's try this one again. So let's say hi again. Uh, where is this cursor? Okay. So hi, um, and it'll pull sunny here. Okay. So can I assist you? Okay. I need a uh, a fresher resume something like this okay i can help you with that name and address objective education skills project internships certifications okay additional information okay so it has given a kind of uh, points but mm, okay so let's try to add more objective here so let's try to make a creativity here let's uh, add more objectives and uh, remove the uh, address the phone number city and others here let's say uh, i'm trying to tell the system to remove this part uh, does it does let me come down so yeah it has removed everything and it kept uh, your name objective here Mm, it needs more objective here. So I need a little bit more objectives required here, but uh, obviously it's not showing my skills, right? So, uh, forget about this one. Let's try with an experience resume. Okay, so uh, I want a resume for uh, three years experience in mainframe. That's what I want to do, right? So let's see if it can generate as an experience resume here phone number email address objectively wow wow, wow 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 summary of qualification three years experience in mainframe developer this is really good guys this is really good we can make a little bit changes here strong problem solving skills <laughs> okay you as an AI, you have this strong problem skills solving technique but <laughs> we should learn it excellent communication and teamwork uh professional experience okay and positional title you just need to fill up guys okay you just need to fill up here uh employment developed and maintained mainframe application using cobal jsl db2 cscs visa collaborated across functional teams to gather requirements conducted code reviews created an exhausted text plans assisted in analysis guys if i have to prepare my resume i would certainly take a couple of lines from here okay it has so good wordings here troubleshoot and resolved production issues created and ex executed test plans assisted in analysis and optimizing of existing mainframe system really we <laughs> we don't know that all these things okay so there is a second project uh, development enhancement here close B. you see how good it is it added two places the same roles and responsibilities here and in this place it is adding a kind of maintenance work around and support related or issues 
but in here it has given a development story business analyst end user understanding requirement this is a developer role uh, responsibilities here collaborating testing education we can keep okay it really knows some tools it really knows some tools certifications professional this we can remove so i think we can keep a little bit more here and let's make a change let's remove the objective remove the uh, objective here okay i don't want the objective i not i need the summary qualifications only let me come down okay so summary qualifications here okay add two more points into the summary okay. so i'll just try to come down let's add more details and prepare a resume guys okay we will not type it we'll copy paste we'll copy paste okay uh, for the base specific skills okay so now this one contains strong solving skills communication it has added track record delivering projects <laughs> okay so we will not create any track records here but yes but the, the demonstrated ability to adapt quickly here okay so add this uh, summary to my resume okay to the uh, resume and uh, finish so i want to add everything and i want the system to generate everything here so professional in this one technical skills had added here uh, okay so again it has given everything then i want to add a project okay right the system and to add a project so let's say add uh, the professional experience professional experience as three years and add a project related to banking application right add a project on banking application here so let's see let's see whether it can help us with adding a good project also into our resume this is a genuine guys even my resume will look like this okay i can open my resume somewhere here and it really looks like this okay let me see if i can find my old resume anywhere so yeah let's see i have a uh, resume here in my hand it has something okay i just want to give a glimpse you see professional summary of 11 years experience well-rounded education something guys and i would really say that i would really remove guys okay if i'm trying or a new job now okay this is an old one when i was in uh, india and the uh, yes technology but now in i'm us guys so i will change this one definitely i will change this one and add a little bit more like this problem solving skills excellent communication track record maybe this is little bit kind of uh, overrated one so we we'll, can ignore this one maybe okay we will add we will ask the chat gpt to add a couple of more qualifications here okay but anyway so we want to test it for project okay i would really request you guys start using this kind of things let's use it make a good resume today so this is a pretty good one i would really appreciate this AI technology to put a good words for us but i'm also like yesterday you have seen right i'm a little bit fear that how this chat gpt or AI technology will take over as a developer but for now we will use this one for our resume so i want to create a resume experience as three years and then i want to put it a kind of project as a banking application right so let's see let's see here generate see okay so those are the qualifications so it will go professional experience it doesn't added anything i guess position as title okay it is adding a project at the end so we can move it later okay uh, so it is add okay let's little bit go ahead here so this is the place banking application in uh, it has given again a uh, roles and responsibility guys okay so add a few points add few points about some credit card application uh, specifically i want for uh, billing system okay a billing system uh, 
like that maybe i'm not sure whether i have given a point properly to it or not let's see if it can help us very to add so it has this one is like you want to add projects here and here okay so this is our uh, it's again giving us the roles guys okay i would say a uh, general resume okay in a general resume you need to mention the project and then uh, you need to mention the application and what is the purpose of this application what it is doing in that particular case and then it has to, and then we need to put a resume saying that we did development we did coding we did testing everything like this so this one in this one as of now uh, it is giving only the roles and responsibilities only that i did this one i did this one i did this one yes these are good okay i'm not telling these are bad these are very good but we need to add a project okay so how do i tell us this one how do i tell the system to do a project okay uh two words on uh card processing okay uh, credit card okay credit card billing process i want something on the process billing data process i want this one to be added okay see your resumes you can take these lines okay you can likely lines these are good i will not say these are bad i actually really appreciate this one but i along with this point i want a project okay i really want a project to be added one application should be added so if i want to go for a credit card billing data process i want to know it needs to tell me that it there is an application where we do a generate of credit card billings like that there is a daily process weekly process something related to data so let's see if i can go with this one so okay mm. <laughs> no it's giving the same thing but it see best of luck for your job search <sighs> you are crazy so again i want to ask in a different way okay i want to ask in a different way how a credit card billing system works okay now i'm asking a good question if it can answer this question we can take those words and put it in our resume okay that's what i want to try let's see Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so it shows what is the billing process is okay so it says that transaction processing data aggregation billing cycle statement generation available and credit card application uh, calculation fee calculation interest calculation okay so i would say in our application project or in our resume i want to keep about the fee calculation as my application okay credit card has so many things guys each point you can keep a kind of an application small application like this maybe you are in an interest calculation so add a fee calculation uh, process to my resume now i'll tell the system to do that okay so let's see what it does here is the concept uh, is it not telling again it's not giving guys okay uh, so it is not giving here okay incorrect let's scold it okay incorrect you did not added the credit card fee calculation uh, uh, details in resume okay let's see can you do it add come on okay so mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. it doesn't give guys it's giving so many things as a work experience but it's not giving any application point again so it has told me what is the credit card process is now again 
in the project guys in your resume okay if you already have a resume with a find of a credit card story you can use this to explain what is your application is okay in the interview if they ask you anil can you tell me about your application you can pick one topic here and elaborate this topic that we have a over limit fee pro process is there late fee process is there credit card terms and conditions are used something like this to elaborate the point but i guess uh, from this particular point okay uh, at least okay i would say at least we had a very good summary qualifications i would say this is very good so we will take it from here project it's not giving properly but yeah it has given the roles and responsibility okay so this is a developer and maintenance roles that you are getting here and it has given project related guys but i i'm not happy with this because i will as an experience if i see a, a resume i would expect what is the application we have done as well right so i would not uh, take the project point but i would really take the roles and responsibilities here and then uh, the technologies are good enough technologies are good enough if you want to add okay like you want to add i want to add sas i know sas so i want to add sas uh, the and quick job i know some quick jobs here uh, do i know anything else i know ims right so add ims db skills to my resume okay so let's see if it can add more things okay let's make it little better here let me come down uh, this is not the one we need to come very much down here okay here it is so uh, okay so this is the place i am a day skills uh, it has not added here okay mm. it has added in this project point and no yeah it has added here but it's not mainframe technology i would agree okay the point is here maybe in other skills it has added so what i want to do is remove the project okay remove the project story first of all project uh, experience uh, uh, points okay let's remove that take this one okay uh, yeah take this part take this points education here technical skills uh yep okay certifications i don't have professional applications not required here education you can add it okay education you add it here uh where else what else we want to add you want to add your education uh current experience current company details okay add yes technologies as my company current company okay so current company uh inc okay inc uh in my resume from somewhere like 2021 till date something like that let's see okay so professional experience it is giving like this saying that you have worked in this particular company in this particular position date okay you can take like this okay really you can take like this in this you need to add a project if you have multiple uh, companies that you worked here it is so i would say add second company as second company as yes technologies uh, private limited or india something like this from like 2011 i say tool i guess till 2021 okay so let's see it can add uh, this part as well here i told it has to add a second company okay let's see if it can understand it creating a resume for us so professional experience this is one pro company which i worked and i need to add a project here which i'll add and this is my second company which i have worked from 12 to 21 and it has given so except the project guys this is very relevant one i would say if you have no resume till date or you have a resume and you want to add it a better wordings you can use this one i really liked it a little bit more than 
what I have used my resume long back. Okay, maybe my resume is a very old date. I prepared resume only two or three times, and that too for my uh, visa processing and everything. So I really doesn't know how the uh, resume is good or bad in my case. So, but anyway, if I go for an interview, I'll definitely prepare a resume. But I'd, again, I'll definitely use some words which are more experienced here in this case. Uh, I can add an education, guys. Okay, you can add my education. Okay, now you don't need to give that you are a completed 10th, you are uh, intermediate or BTEC, higher qualification. So, uh, add my education as master's, okay, MCA. Uh, in, from the NTU University, something like this. Uh, HYD India something it does use us right so summary is good if you want to add a couple of things you can add I really uh, not liking it for not giving us a project kind of subtitles here but uh, as I told you we can do a kind of uh, modification ourselves and the company title the date of employment and these things are pretty good we can change okay if you have a good idea you can change so it knows that i am actually work in as a masters of computer application but i give only shortcut right so it has converted it much better way it knows what jntu stands as it knows where it is also guys now this is crazy right i did not i, I told you okay i told hyd so it knows hyd so and it of course even that also very good guys that also very good right it knows hyd stands for hyderabad i just need to add year of completion perfect right so technical skills are uh, pretty good okay technical skills are pretty good uh, you can little bit modify here and there and we can prepare a resume so you don't need a me as a trainer to help you creating a resume any longer yesterday I told you that you don't need a trainer to explain you theoretically the points but today I'm telling you that you don't need anyone guys to tell how to prepare a resume this one has a kind of very good things I would really uh, if you have certifications add it and I don't think this is required okay you can remember remove this part education part yes you can keep it but uh, if you want you can move it little up keep these projects in the bottom okay uh, give, move, move this education up why i need to do it okay move education uh, uh, to uh, top below top below the summary okay so i'm telling this uh, ai system to move this kind of education story right to way back to the top okay way back to the top under this summary here okay let's see if it can do it for us uh, did you understood okay yes education has moved but it has moved again above summary here i want to keep it is below okay uh, keep the education okay education below the summary of qualifications okay something like that okay summary of qualifications yes 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 perfect okay and i want to move the technical skills also to the top also okay so this technical skills i want it to on the top my first uh, page guys okay i want to show my first page to be uh, more about my professional and my resume second page or third page to show about my work experience so again move the technical skills under education okay under education and also remove the certification i do have certifications but i don't want to disclose those things here so I just want to remove that because no, most of us will not have certifications on mainframe. So it's not required. So you have your resume, okay, professional experience. You just need to add your project and one up, uh, application, guys. That's it. Most of the case, you have everything here, okay. Most of the case, you have everything. If you want to remove one or two, add your own one or two, that is also welcomed, guys. So, But you have your resume here. So 
can I copy it? Okay. So let me here take this fellow. Ding 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 ding. So far here, I'm going to create a new Microsoft. I'm going to paste it here. Uh, so it has some kind of boxings, I would say. Uh, so I don't think I like this box here. Okay. Uh, maybe we need to do a kind of uh, formatting, something like that. I'm really doesn't know how to move this box. I think how it is a box came up. Anyway, so guys, you understood, right? Okay, you understood the way what I want to tell you. We have these uh, things. You need to take a little bit spin. Okay, your resume is half ready. 80% resume is ready. You just need to prepare another 20%, I would say. Or let's say 50-50%. Uh, but this is how we use technology to make ourselves better. I given three years experience. I can add more. If you have more kind of things you want to add, you can ask the chat GPT to do it. Okay. So that's guys. That's the story for you. If you like it, please subscribe. Please uh, like it and share this uh, video always. I would really appreciate you to like my videos and put your comments whatever you want me to try in the below okay see you then